Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 23rd of 2021. Well, it is titled the sun in x rays from new star. So what do we see here? Well, here is a partial image of our sun, we can see a portion of it here. And this is looking at it in x rays, which is part of the nuclear spectroscopic telescope array, which is in Earth orbit, and is going to it looked very closely at the sun. So here we see a image that includes the x ray emission. And that is in also the sun in ultraviolet light. So the base image is the sun in ultraviolet. But the blue and green is x rays. So the sun giving off a lot of energy, most of the sun's energy is emitted in visible light. However, portions of it can give off lots of other types of light and higher energy, including ultraviolet light and x rays. Now in general, x rays are emitted at very high temperatures of millions of degrees and are associated with the outer atmosphere or the corona of the sun. However, here we can also see some a little lower down in the intense energy produced in regions around sunspots. So some of the more energetic regions we see here are sunspots. And the material we see stretching out in various loops is following the magnetic field lines connecting pairs of sunspots. So a lot of this material is then actually lifted off the surface of the sun by the magnetic field as it lifts up up from the surface and pushes up we see the magnetic field lines kind of bowing out and it pulls up some material off the surface. Now much of that material will rain back on the sun as thousands of degrees pl hot plasma rain onto the surface of the sun. Others will extend outward into space. Sometimes it can be pushed off with enough intensity that we can get solar flares and energy bursts that push material off the surface of the sun altogether. And those then come in and can strike towards the Earth, giving us some uh, energetic events that we see as as Aurora. And that's when these particles then strike the Earth's magnetic field and funnel around it to the north and south magnetic poles, eventually striking the atmosphere at high speeds and giving off the greenish glow that we see as the Aurora. And that all begins here on the sun by these magnetic fields that we can see illuminated in x rays here. Now magnetic fields themselves are not visible a magnetic field is completely invisible, unless something is there to highlight it. So we can use iron filings on Earth to see the magnetic field of a bar magnet. And we can also see the magnetic field highlighted in the plasma, the charged particles from the sun that will follow along those magnetic field lines, allowing us to see those field lines that would otherwise be invisible. So that was our picture of the day for November 23rd of 2021. It was titled The Sun in X-rays from New Star. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Stellar Sisters. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.